went grocery shopping. And as you can see by this amazingly healthy haul of chocolates, and Lunchables, and pizzas, and Sour Patch Kids, and cream, and oh, I'm gonna be so healthy. And you're probably swearing at your screen right now going, no, Garen, no, that's terrible. You're right, that is terrible. But that's not actually All right, in all seriousness though, $330 later, this is what it's gonna get you. You're gonna notice a very real divide because I don't know what the point counts are on any of this, but I know where I'm sitting over here. So let me talk to you about this over here real quick. We picked up Oikos Triple Zero uh, Greek yogurt. Three points a cup, it's not bad. It's actually really delicious. We picked up sugar-free Jello. Pudding, because I love pudding, and sugar-free Jello because hey, Jello's delicious. We picked up finishing butter because any piece of meat that you're making, or really anything that requires butter, is better with finishing butter. Milk, creamer, whipping cream, which is actually, <laughs> oddly enough, going to go with our peaches that we're gonna grill later on. Lily decided for some Lily's chocolate. We got a whole stack of Lunchables pizzas. This is a bad decision in a bag. Three pounds of Sour Patch Kids, and it's the red, white, and blue ones, which are delicious, but we can't have those. Those aren't for us. I know they're not for us, they're for the kids, but I'm not allowed to have them. And then my son, Hayden, he's a bit of a pizza fiend, so we got four or five different kinds of frozen pizzas. We got Celeste, and Screamin' Sicilian, and Red Baron, and we got Stromboli, whatever hey, Stromboli You should is. let us know in the comments, do you have a favorite kind of pizza? Because these kids, they like the Tostinos, Oh, I love uh, uh, party, Totino's pizzas. party pizzas. Totino, sorry. Party delicious. pizzas, and uh, they they cook the fastest. They're the thinnest. They're the uh, easiest, and they love them. They are great. Also today, we uh, stumbled on some boneless pork ribs, country ribs, however you want to call it. It's pork. We Cooked got over. about 15 pounds of these for about a dollar a pound. So that was super cool. That's going off to the side. It's going to get freezed and we're going to eat that later. Goldfish crackers for the daughter. Whole bunch of Pepsi because 18 year old boys like Pepsi. 647 bread, which is, I want to say one, maybe two points one a point. slice. One point a slice. We've got a party coming up and I needed a whole bunch of beef to make smash burgers. Got the rolls for our Italian beef which is going to slowly move us to the other side of the counter that we see here. I've got this for Lily, my 14 year old daughter. She loves her some uh, caramel coffee. Giotto. So speaking of Italian beef, we got a chuck roast to go with that. Pay full price, that's uh, about 12 bucks a pound, but the Italian beef's gonna be delicious, we hope. Mushrooms to go with my hibachi vegetables. Broccoli, also to go with my hibachi vegetables. Pepperoncinis. Pepperoncinis. Never so, used them. I've never cooked with pepperoncini. It's a pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Hell if I know, but that's what they are. So we're gonna eat a bunch of those. I got avocados, because those are going to go on our turkey club sandwiches. Bananas, because what's better than buying 10 pounds of a fruit for under five bucks? I mean, 50 cents a pound? Yeah, bananas are great. I love these bananas. Pork chops, bone in, because we're gonna have uh, grilled pork chops one of these nights very soon. The biggest raw shrimp I could get my hands on, because we're going to have chicken fried rice. I'm sorry, shrimp fried rice. So that's gonna be a hoot. Grapes, what do I call grapes? Oh, that's right, the Skittles of the fruit world. If you really want to go big on the Skittles of the fruit world, cotton candy grapes. Now, personally, I'm not a fan. My wife, though, Andrea, eats these things up. And it's crazy because they are cotton candy flavored. And when you're eating them, you're like, oh my goodness, it's a grape, but it's cotton candy and it's it's mind-blowing. Honestly, it really satisfies that need to feel like you're eating something sweet. I can see that. Ha, ah, it always comes in fast. So we got our hands on some peaches because peaches are delicious. We're gonna let those ripen up for a couple of days and that's where the cream is gonna go. I wait all year for this. 
cherries. I love cherries. Now, these are California cherries, not Rainier cherries. And in my opinion, a Rainier cherry is superior, but I digress. Apple slices, because the daughter loves apple slices. Strawberries, good dark strawberries. And raspberries, Can raspberries. Can we some strawberry banana bowls? We're gonna have strawberry banana bowls this week. Ooh, I love when that happens. Asparagus. Did you know that asparagus is actually a grass? Did you know you should peel it? Make yeah, it I learned that. So they always say cut off the woody bits at the end. And I was always like, what woody bits? But it turns out when you get good asparagus, there's woody bits at the end. And then you have to take a vegetable peeler and get rid of the outside of the asparagus about two thirds of the way down. And it makes it so you can eat it. We got tomatoes. Because who doesn't love a good tomato? A little bit of zucchini. That's going to go with my hibachi vegetables. Romaine lettuce, because it's my favorite lettuce. And ginger, because that's going to go with my bourbon chicken. Speaking of bourbon chicken, chicken breast to go with my bourbon chicken. And turkey to go with my turkey clubs. And the bacon was over there. So $330 later, I've got a counter full of good stuff and honestly not so good stuff. And I'm only gonna be able to eat the good stuff. But yeah, this is gonna set us up for the week. So. So you know how we went grocery shopping the other day and we got a whole bunch of food that was super healthy? Yeah. Okay, well, then we started to make dinners with it because this is all about getting back on track. So I got 18 point dinner here. That includes my allotment for ketchup. I got one serving of french fries for three points and this sandwich right here, which is three slices of bread, a quarter of an avocado, um, two slices of tomato, one slice of turkey breast, and two slices of bacon, one serving of mayonnaise. That's fantastic. Is it gonna be good? Yeah, the it whole better thing be is good. 18 points with my ketchup. It's like, this is an awesome dinner. Fantastic. And then we're gonna go out and work out after dinner, right? Of course, we're gonna go for a walk. And Beautiful. all of this fits into my green plan. Beautiful, let's do it. So you know how when people are out hiking and walking in the woods, they're like, look at these trees and these beautiful vistas, mountains and streams. No, no, no. I find myself walking on the rusty backside of a shopping mall. It's accidental, but hey, steps are steps, right? I miss alcohol. It's only been like 12 hours. Ooh, it's been more than that. <laughs> Just kidding. Drying out's rough. It is, it is. <sighs> It'll be good for us, I know. It says you have a headache. It's, it's too hot. I think that's caffeine with drugs. And I don't want to. It is hot. It's very hot. Okay. Go drink some water. Okay, so this week we did uh, that whole five point Garen's plan to success nonsense that I came up with, right? Did we though? I think we did. Okay, so five points. They were go back to our meetings, mm -hmm. dry out a little bit, start working out again, get the kitchen scale back out, you know, because portion control is a thing, uh -huh. and then start publishing our weights in the weekly videos for, you know, public shaming and accountability, which we did. So, how did we do this week? Technically, I lost two pounds. Technically, you lost a little more than that. That's right. I guess I lost like three pounds. You lost like three pounds. Okay. And I lost two, two and a half, something like that. I did go to the meeting. You did go to the meeting. Hi, Amy. There were <laughs> efforts to dry out made. And I think we did halfway decent. 
Um, I walked a couple times. I certainly did not run. No, no, I, I ran. No, you wait, walked. I lie. I no, actually no. jogged the first time. Yeah, day. so when I was jogging, uh, you, yeah, you were I running jogged on, on the, the downhills. downhills. Mm -hmm. She's running, folks. I did not get the kitchen scale back out because I wasn't the one plating. That was all you. You're right. That, so. that was me. And I think I did a halfway decent job of making sure that our portions were not crazy out of control. And, <laughs> uh, and yeah, you published our weights. So um, I also, you know, I tried to little, little habits, little changes. Little changes are important. Weren't you reading a book on that? I was. Atomic Habits. Is that a good book? It, it is. I really, I haven't finished it yet. I need to, but... Um, it, it's a good book. I need, but I did decide to try to remember to go back to the water. If you're like me, you don't like water. Um, Crystal lights uh, the iced tea lemonade. Oh yeah, Arnold Palmer, that one's good. whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, it uh, that one's really really good. But I it turns out I'm sensitive to maltodextrin. Yep. Uh, you, you don't do well with fake sugars. Over time, it's it's not so bad. Drink your water, kids. <laughs> I think. Uh, judging by a conversation that we had this week, uh, stress has was been it a, a conversation thing. or it was, a fight? It, oh, it was a fight. It was a fight. Uh, I know we appear perfect. Mm. I love you too. Hi, <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here. You want to be by me? Hi. Hi. Wait, can I pick you up? Are you gonna let me? Are you? Uh, hey, hey, no. Uh, gone. We're not going to let stress kill us anymore. We are not going to let stress kill us anymore because that's been a whole thing this week. We were starting to bicker a lot more. We were starting to disagree a lot. We were both irritable, short fused, all that goodness. And it was reaching a point where we were kind of pointing fingers at each other like, no, you're the asshole. No, you're the asshole. No, it's you. <laughs> uh, and I had to stop and go, you know what? No, it's neither of us. It is the environment. I can reduce this if I really thought about it. Okay, so I'm guessing this is a self-care situation. This is. So I started out not realizing that I was trying to do self-care. When I started this week, I started fighting you, saying, no, I don't want to go volunteer, right? Yeah. I don't want to go out. I just want to stay home. And I didn't realize that what I needed, what I was basically crying for without realizing what I was crying for, um, was some self-care. My job was always a work-life balance nightmare, right? Uh, but then COVID happened. Oh yeah. And my job has gotten insanely busy where I actually need two or three of me to get it done. And although I have recently hired some help, I'm not able to turn it off at five. All right, so you're going to not overwork yourself. You're <laughs> gonna to learn to say no. And he, that it or that what you're running with or? Actually, I also had to learn to say yes. To what? If I tell myself no to everything I ever want in an effort to try to lose weight, I'm only going to frustrate myself and turn around and binge. Okay. So I have to say yes in small ways. I wanted a cheeseburger. So we had cheeseburgers. So I made cheeseburgers and I made them as light as I could while still getting to have my cheeseburger. Okay. But I didn't take the easy route. I didn't jump in the car and go to McDonald's or Burger King or Red Robin. So you learned to say no, but you learned to say yes. Yep. Okay. I can work with that. Did I tell you what I chose to do? Because self-care is a thing, folks. I'm notorious for doing whatever people need at work. Hey, Garen, do this thing. Hey, Garen, I need a thing. Whoa. I have not got the bandwidth for that right now. Thanks for thinking of me. Go talk to that guy. I started saying no to coworkers. And aside from saying no... I've learned to focus on stress relief. Stress relief, you say? Yes, Andrea, I'm so glad you point that out. I've learned to start working out as a stress relief. I've done that, and then I've also decided to be slightly more de decisive. Stress is our biggest combatant right now. Yes, stress and is we're, everywhere. We're still working on it. This is not like, we didn't set out this week going, let's reduce our stress. Since that's working a little bit. Yes. What are we going to do? Are we going to keep focusing on on the stress? Okay, so we spend the next week de-stressing. Yeah. Okay. How do How? we want to? Yeah. yeah, that's a good question. I think that having a clean space is like priority one. Decluttering and cleaning makes a huge difference. And For I think me, it's the floors. It is such a strange thing, but like... We both looked at the floor. Well, okay, so as you can see behind us, our floors are dark. 
Do not buy a house with dark hardwood, okay? Oh, Pro that tip. shows dirt. That shows everything, no matter what. I, I could sweep it, and 10 minutes later, it needs swept again. And then we got the cats, like the orange one, Ugh. just shedding everywhere. Anyways, the floors drive me crazy. I feel like they're they're filthy. They're not, my gosh, with how often I clean them, they're not filthy. No, they're not. But they look filthy to me, and it stresses me out. Okay, so we need to declutter and actually clean the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. The garage. The garage is giving me a panic attack. You can do the garage. I'll do the office. No, there's going to be snakes in there. Like that snake we saw today. We saw a six foot long black looking snake just cruising down the road today. So much in fact that I had to stop the car, back it up so we could stare at it. It's huge. It was like bigger around than a garden hose. It was, oh my goodness. Could you imagine if we'd been on a walk? I'd have noped home so fast. I'd have been like, oh, oh that's it. I'm done today. Nope ropes are a thing. I might have been out with ambition, but not today, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so, we are going to actively seek out the stressors in life that stress us the hell out and be like, no, no. I don't even know what these are going to be yet, but I'm sure that I will find something this week and going... I just told you one. It was the floor. Okay, well, you can clean your own floors. Taking time to decompress. What does that even mean? I don't know. I've never been on a real vacation. Is it I've, like... Is it like... <laughs> I've never sat on a beach just drinking fruity drinks and going... <gasps> Have you done that? No. I haven't either. Is that a thing? It, it is in the movies. I don't know if it is in real life, though. You need to let me know in the comments. Like, when you go on vacation, do you, do you sit by a beach with a drink with, like, a little umbrella? And do you just drink it? Is that what you do for, like, a week? All right, so some people go on vacation. Yes. Some people work out. Yes. I like to watch TV. If I had TV, I don't have TV. I don't oh yeah, have we cable. cut the cord like five years ago. No, I just go back and I watch whatever's on streaming. So I watch movies or TV shows that are on Hulu or whatever. Sleep. Uh, Weight Watchers, WW, we're on the green plan. Um, one of the four pillars that Coach Amy always talks about mm -hmm. is actually sleep. Learning how to sleep. Go to bed at a decent time. Turn off your phone before you go to bed. Don't stare with the white information box for like three hours before you try to sleep. And sleep. And it's it's apparently crucial. I'm I'm not knocking you. So sleep. I'm Gotta not start ready. sleeping. I'm not either. I don't wanna. <sighs> Alright. So we're gonna wrap this up. But before we do, take a moment, scroll down below, like, subscribe, ring the bell with a ding ding ding. And uh what? Did you know the only reason I say it like that is so that I can attach the sound to it in yes, cadence? Yes, that's why I looked at you. <laughs> that's my favorite part. <sighs> when you pick somebody to marry, marry somebody who makes you laugh. Doesn't matter if you're cute or not. If she's laughing, she has to close her eyes. And if she can't see you, she can't tell how fuggly you are. <laughs> Bye. favorite thing about this cat is? What? You can just like, you can just like, hi, boop. It mines, but it won't hurt you. <laughs> All right, I'm done here. Yeah.